Hi, uh, this is State Representative Tony Huang, and I am sitting here with three absolutely delightful young ladies from Fairfield who are finalists in the Connecticut History Day that will be held in the old State House in Hartford. They are actually coming up here to Hartford to do research work in the State Library archives. And we took this opportunity to give them a tour of the Capitol and have them experience uh, the Capitol, which I have always espoused that, that it is the people's building. And I wanted to take a moment and have these girls introduce themselves. And they are? Emma Langdon, Claire Langdon, Madeline Langdon. OK. Well, these three young ladies are absolutely fantastic in the sense that their project is about the Hartford Circus Fire uh, that occurred when? 1944. Well, and, and some of the results of it and their archival research has been remarkable. And what I'm going to do is allow these intelligent and, and delightful young ladies to be able to describe the key turning points as a result of their research that they were able to find. The first turning point in the Hartford Circus Fire was fireproofing. The Hartford Circus Fire, the tents in, in 1944 were waterproof with paraffin and gasoline, so when the tent caught on fire, it burned very quickly because it turned into candle wax practically. And, and down on everybody. And rain down at everyone and, and burn them. The before the Hartford Circus fire, nobody had at Connecticut and no really no, really nobody else had any fire codes for their um, state. So after the Hartford Circus fire, people really realized, oh, we have to get some get some safety rules for so that people can be safer. And so all the now states and nations follow the lead of the Hartford Circus Fire in terms of fire codes. Awesome, awesome. And the third component? Well, the third component was arbitration because after the Circus Fire, um, there were lots of people who wanted to get their money for all the damage that had been done to them. There were people who, of course, had their family members killed and then others that had been burned and would not be able to do jobs that they could do in the future. And the court would have been jammed for years if Edward Rogan primarily and Julia Schatz and Arthur Weinstein had not come up with a new resolution to this mass tort. They came up with an alternative dispute resolution and allowed all the claimants of the Hartford Circus Fire to get their money back. And it was in a very short amount of time for the amount of money that the Ringlings had to make. Well, you, you just heard three significant turning points as a result of Hartford Circus Fire. But I have to remind the audience here is you are 13? 13. 13 and 11. You just recited an arbitration analysis that some lawyers would be envious of. And you just brought up a wonderful point of why we're in the Capitol, because it is where we make laws that impact the people, and it's a result of what happens around us. And you bring up the point of safety. You bring up the point of the content and, and some of the things that we would have never known about being safe, right? So that is a great research. Now, and I want you to know that we're going to be cheering for you in the state finals, and we're going to do another videotape when you win the whole thing. Okay? If we win, which I hope we do. No, no, you are going to win. Let's high five, right? Okay. All right? All right. Great job. Thank Welcome you. to Hartford. All right?